atletas del campo para la medalla de oro en arco recurvo por equipos piso. So time for the recurve mixed team gold medal match. Shooting on target number one, it will be Germany up against Mexico on target number two. These two teams came through the ranking round. Germany ranked fourth, Mexico ranked third. En la faca número uno y representando Alemania, Lisa Ungugu. So the German lineup is the one, number 18, 33-year-old Lisa Unru. Teamed up with uh, someone with the same name as her. 16th in the world, 27 years old, Mexico. Florian Unruh. Ana Vasquez. Lining up for Mexico. Well, they're lower ranked, 83rd in the world, Ana Vasquez, Angel just 20 Alvarado. years old. And Angel Alvarado, also 20, ranked 94th in the world. Nikki, Germany. Is that what you're calling? I can't see it being anything other than Germany. <laughs> well, this is a match of experience versus youth, and you can never call them, um, but we've got combined age of Germany of 60 versus combined age of Mexico of 40. Well, uh, at my age, I always have to favour the, the experience over youth. Uh, but no, but in all seriousness, um, that doesn't necessarily tell the whole story, does it? No, definitely not. I mean, anything can happen in these matches, um, and that's what makes it so exciting. Yeah, so a young Mexican team, and to be fair, uh, Guatemala City and this first stage of the Honda Archie World Cup Series has favoured the teams who haven't had to travel quite as far. Uh, but Germany have been doing really well in the recurve team events, in particular here in Guatemala City. Time to get the gold medal match underway. Over to you, Angel Alvarado. Good strong opening. Just a little adjustment on the sight needed. Alvarado Vasquez, second member of the team. Ruby. <laughs> so an 18 for Mexico in the first two. Lisa on route will lead things off for the German team. Ruby! One rest and She seemed a little confused by that, didn't she? I think she felt like it was a really good shot, so. Just your sight and go with it. Well, all square after the first four arrows of the first set here. Mexican sticking with their order. Alvarado shooting first and third. Ana Vasquez second and fourth. Well, you heard the time being counted down. Yeah, you could just hear the time running out, can you? And with that, just put that little bit of pressure on her, just hearing those seconds tick down and uh, just put one out into the eight there. Oh, well, putting one out into the eight is not such a problem if your opponents put one out into the four. Very unusual shot from the highly experienced Lisa Unruh. Let's put the set out of reach. Yeah. Even with that 10 from Florian Unruh, the two set points will go to Mexico. A four 
Nikki. Where did that come from? I'd love to see that again. Like, she just looked pretty disappointed, obviously, as she walked off the line, but it wasn't anything massively obvious that I saw on the first run there. But she's just got to put that behind her now. We're in the set system. They've gone. Um, you know, we've reset on this next set, so you've got every opportunity to take the next points next time. So let's have a look. She looks confused. I, I mean, there wasn't too much there. Maybe it was a little bit slow on the release, not quite as smooth as we'd normally see, but not much. Yeah, well, she's confused. And, uh, well, we've got no chance, have we? Um, but a strange, a curious four. It'd be interesting to find out more about that a little bit later. The athletes, as you can see, are wearing masks in between the sets. They can take those masks off. Uh, when they're shooting, but as you can see, the judge is always masked up following these COVID protocols that have made the competition possible. Mexico leading this one by two set points to nil. So it will be the Germans who will start things off in set number two. Sticking with their order, Unru Lisa shooting first for Germany. But unless Nikki Hunt said they've got to just put that set behind them, especially Lisa Unru and the curious four that she shot. <laughs> so a nine to start with for Germany. Yeah, they really could have done, done with a 10 there. I mean, nines are okay, but maybe not in the gold medal match. Up quite a lot of their time there through those first two hours again Mexico could put pressure on Ana Vasquez on her fourth and final shot so yeah you can see a little string coming off the front of Lisa's bow so that's just kind of an indicator of the wind and it's pretty steady at the moment there's not much going on there so you can just glance down on your long rod and just see it so some archers use that as a bit of a, an aid. Yeah. Oh, clipping at the 10 there. A 37 for Germany. So two 10s required here from Mexico. And the timing here is critical as well. well it's gone already. They can only get 36 now, so the set points will go to Germany and we will be all square, but what can Ana Vasquez do with this last shot? Well, you again, you hear the uh, coach counting down the time. They, they need to get through those first two arrows a lot quicker, because otherwise the time pressure is going to be a big problem for them. Germany have got themselves back in this gold medal match. It's two set points apiece. Germans now looking steady and solid. Nothing flashy, but just steady and solid. Yeah, Lisa's got that experience to put that bad arrow out of her mind and just reset, and she's been able to do that. So, like I say, everything to play for. It's all square here, so new set yeah, it's a completely different game now from that first set where Lisa and Ruth shot a four and they looked like they were in all sorts of trouble because they didn't really know or she didn't know why that had gone into the four they have just regrouped and settled down and to be fair to Florian and Ruth, he shot nines and tens in both of those sets so 
I suppose there's only one thing to fix, and that, that's now fixed. But the thing for me with Mexico is it's actually Ana Vasquez that's creating the time pressure for herself. Because on the first hour, she seems to take an awfully long time to get set up. Yeah, they've only got the tw about 20 seconds average each per arrow, so they've got to get a move on. And it's not normal, really, for these recurves to struggle for time. Well, Angel Alvarado will get things underway in set number three. As Mexico battling for gold with Germany. Yeah. Beautiful first arrow. That's the first ten, believe it or not, from Mexico in the whole match. It's really calming herself down there, isn't she? A big deep breath, just steadying the nerves. Another long hold. Yes. But great result. So no tens throughout the match so far, and then two in a row. And I get what you're saying about settling herself down and calming herself down, but she's having to do that every single shot. She's burning up so much of that time. You can hear the wind picking up on the mics out on the field of play again. Ruby. Not affecting Lisa Unruh though, a nine. Yeah, we just had a shot of the windsock there, flying in the air. So a little bit of curling of the wind, I think. Ruby. Just clipping the line, so we'll be marked as a nine. Right, can Mexico put another couple of tens down there and put this one out of reach? Constantly talking to each other. Support. Certain words usually people like to hear, you know, something similar each time. Oof. Tight again. Oh, and this is the problem. They've put this one back in reach for the Germans. Uh, another nine, and that would have probably been, well, it would have been enough to secure at least a single point. Now, two tens from Germany. Yeah, yeah. Another wild yeah, one from Lisa Unruh. So just when the opportunity was there for the Germans, it's another wild shot from Lisa Unruh. It's, that one seemed a lot quicker. It did, but again, she came off the line, and I think she was pretty surprised with where it went, so I'm not sure she's understanding what's happening. Yes. Back in the tens for Florian Unruh, but a 35, and it could have been so much more. The set point's going to Mexico, <laughs> and uh, well, despite <laughs> both teams' best efforts to give this away, you still can't call it. It's still very difficult to call that Mexico in the driving seat, leading by four set points to two. Right, look, Mickey, you coach at a high level here, and, and you, 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 you're quite rightly saying, you know, Lisa Unruh is walking away, she doesn't know what's going on. We'll take a look back at some of the shots, and perhaps we'll see some of the reaction from Lisa Unruh in this. What would you say to an archer that, you know, turns back to you if you're standing there as a coach? And I don't know why that one didn't happen. Think about how you want it to feel. What's normal? What's your normal shot? Just run that through your mind over and over again. You've done it so many times before. Just recreate that. Don't spend time analysing. There's no point doing that now. That shot's gone. So get back on track and just think about your normal process. Good. I'll ask you to come and stand behind me the next time I shoot. Although I'm not sure you even with your expertise, you'd be able to improve my archery skills. Uh, look here, the skills of Lisa Unruh are under examination. She's dropped a four and a seven in this match. She's shooting first in set number four, with Germany trailing Mexico yes, yes. by two set points to four. Marked as a nine. Oh, that looked like it might be a 10 to me. It did, it looked like it might be touching. We'll have to wait for the measure, but it looked pretty close. Yeah. Yeah, Florian Unruh, he hasn't been affected at all.
by uh, what Lisa is doing. He's just shot nines and tens throughout the match. Yeah, you've got to stick to your, your process, like we've said before, but you, you're communicating as a team. Um, but he's, he's been unaffected, isn't yeah, he, yeah, by yeah. that? He's just stuck to his normal okay. shot. Beautiful stuff. So now Germany, even halfway through this set, will be. I'm sure they would have looked down with their binoculars to see whether that's a nine or ten. They'll know. Well, the the coach might have had a look, but it doesn't matter. Again, get back on the line, repeat. Mm -hmm. You know. You say it's going well, but we just dropped to nine. <laughs> well, nobody is. Uh, for, well, seeing it's what we've seen so far from uh, Lisa and Rue. Nine is is good at the moment. What can Florian and Rue do? Ten to put some pressure on. Oh, He's dropped it out into the eight. So a thirty-six, a massive opportunity for Mexico to finish this off. They only need 16 points because if they tie, they will get the one set point they need for the win. Yeah. But another 10. Are they going to finish in style with a perfect 40? And Vasquez going through this long routine again. They're going to run out of time if they're not careful here. Well, it's not much time at all, but gets a 9, a 39 to finish things off. And Mexico have taken the gold in the recurve mixed team event here in Guatemala City. Uh, a brilliant performance from Mexico, strong throughout. They had a little wobble in the second set, you have to say. Uh, but other than that, they have been a, a great outfit. But something inside me says that they could be even better if Ana Vasquez doesn't spend so much time getting ready. Yeah, it was interesting how long she spent on the line with that deep breathing. I mean, you would try and do that off the line. You would try and do that as you're waiting, but you're also trying to help your teammates. So this is the difference with the with the mixed team. In the in a three-person team, you've got that spot where you can pause, where the other team member can help. But the mixed team, you're straight back on the line again, so it's much more intense and you just don't have as much time. Well, they did it uh, despite uh, running out of time or almost every, or not running out of time, but almost running out of time almost every set. I wonder if uh, Ana Vasquez has, you know, got some anxiety or maybe she's not feeling very well. That's why she's just just getting her, her mind straight a little bit more than she would do normally. Uh, but brilliant performance from Mexico, Ana Vasquez and Angel Alvarado with gold.